Hi, I'm Rick Nakvi with Presonus Audio. We're here at the 2009 Music Mesa Show in Frankfurt, and we are really proud to be introducing our newest product. So Studio One is a completely full-featured, integrated software for Windows and Mac that features unlimited tracks, unlimited effects sends. It comes with a suite of uh, effects plugins, plus virtual instruments, plus loops and samples and content, uh, like nearly 15 gigs of content that you get in the box with Studio One. Uh, it's extremely powerful, but one of the things that was really key with Studio One it was workflow. And so everything in Studio One is designed to make music uh, composition, uh, mixing, production, and everything to, your, to, to get to your final master to be as quick and, and powerful as possible to keep the workflow going. So a couple of things that are kind of neat about it. Um, first of all, you can choose to work in a couple of different ways. This is sort of a, uh, a single window view. So if you like the single window view where you have your mixer down here at the bottom, you've got all of your edit window on the top with your waveforms, and then here's your browser to the right. Um, if you prefer, you can detach the mixer like this. And, uh, and you can actually move it to a different screen if you like. And then there's also this large mode for the mixer that allows you to basically have a fuller view. And if you want to drag in plugins, it's great. You just hit the effects on the right side of the uh, browser. And let's say if I want to throw this beat delay on one of my uh, vocal tracks, I just grab this and literally just drag it over. And there it is. And so I've got this really nice view right here with all of my plugins. And I can just basically drag and drop stuff over. And you have, in this uh, large mixer view, you have a mini view for your plugins where you can actually just grab them right here, or you can double click and make your adjustments you know, on a much bigger um, GUI, and then double click again and they'll go back. And then you can essentially go back to your edit view here, double click and you have a, a nice big browser for your wave sample editing. And you've got all of your tools right here. You know, just the standard cut, copy. So you can move stuff around. We've got auto crossfading. on the individual wave samples. And you can change the shape of the crossfade. The other thing that's really great about Studio One is it has a complete mastering engine for after you've finished your songs and you want to master your entire project built in. So you don't have to leave Studio One and open up a separate mastering program. Basically you just flip over to the project tab and when I hit project right here, here's my mastering section. There's my different wave samples. I can apply individual plugins to each one. So I can throw in different plugins on each individual song. And I can also apply master plugins on the master track. You have a nice spectrum analyzer and some mix tools right there for you. And you can just flip back and forth from you know song to song very, very easily 
without losing any of your workflow or your time. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this mastering is there's an update button. So at any point when I finish a song, I just hit update and it updates the mastering file. So I don't have to drag in the latest version of the mix uh, into my mastering uh, thing. So it, you know, you get to the end of the session and the band says, hey, can you burn me a CD of the whole you know, project? Well, this way you can just say, update, it'll update all the mixes and burn CD right there. It also will record Redbook compatible uh, right off the bat within uh, the mastering section. It also will write meta tags for all of your, uh, if you want to release an MP3 album, so basically all of your meta tags for when uh, it shows up on iTunes browser, all of your song information will be there. And uh, it's a completely 64-bit um, software. It, it, it auto-switches from 64-bit to 32-bit. So if I'm in a 64-bit environment and I drag in, start using a 32-bit plug-in, the software doesn't close on me. It actually will adapt right there to working in 64 or 32-bit. It's very, very powerful. Um, just to give you a little background, um, the, the guys that we teamed up with to create Studio One uh, are, are not um, newcomers to the software world. Um, a guy named Wolfgang Kundrus and another guy named Matthias Jawan, uh, both ex-Steinberg guys. Um, Wolfgang actually created Nuendo for Steinberg back in the uh, you know early 2000s and uh, Matthias was a software engineer at Steinberg. He worked on VST3. Um, these guys started uh, a company together and uh, we met them three years ago and this software has been in development for three years. And we teamed up with them and created uh, a new division of Persona. It's called Persona Software, which they are uh, running uh, from uh, an office in Hamburg, Germany, is where their R&D office is. And uh, it's really great because all of our hardware and software is going to be totally integrated now. The other thing that's great is, is that all of the Persona's hardware will be recognized by Studio One. All of your inputs and outputs are set up for you. The other thing is, is if you're using one of the Fire Studio family interfaces that has a DSP chip on the actual Fire Studio, right now, if you want to do a, a no latency mix, you have to basically open up our control panel and be able to adjust the mix uh, for each musician's headphone mix. Well, if you're using Studio One, let me show you how, how that's going to work. So you go over to the I.O. setup and see there's the Fire Studio, it sees it. I go to the outputs and let's say I want to set up you know, two headphone mixes for Rick and Ted, okay? So I'll go over here and I'll add two stereo mixes and I'll call this one Rick Mix and this one Whoops. Ted Mix. Okay. Then I click Q Mix, and what it does is it sets up Q Mixes for Rick and Ted. Now, what's great is, is that I want to get a good sound in the control room before I start tweaking musicians' headphones. So, when you first do this, all of my mixes are locked together. So you can see the little lock right there and you can see as I move a fader it's moving everybody's mix in, in you know at the same time. But let's say Rick needs a little bit more kick drum in his headphone and Ted needs a little less. Well notice the little lock goes off and now all three are independent. So now I can give the control room its own mix down here. Ted gets his mix up here and I get my mix up here and everybody's got their panning like they want it to be. But what's really sweet is this Q mix, if you're using a Fire Studio, is actually accessing the DSP chip that's on board the interface. So it's doing it with no latency and you didn't have to open up a separate application to do this. So that's really freaking cool. It doesn't stop your workflow. You can literally start 
record, set up people's headphone mixes, and just keep working and keep in the flow of being creative. So that's what Studio One is about. Um, we're hoping to ship it sometime in the late summer, and um, it's going to be Mac and PC compatible, and uh, we're going to have a good time. Right on.